Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrink. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadaybiya Palace, where he hailed the successful results of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa's visit to the United States, and his meeting with its President Donald Trump and senior officials, as well as the high value agreements signed during the visit in the military, economic, and commercial fields to enhance Bahraini US relations. His Royal Highness commended the bilateral ties and their progress as a result of the joint understanding and openness. The Prime Minister directed to follow up on the observations stated in the National Audit Office's NAO's report and take measures to address them. He also directed to refer the report to the coordinating committee headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to study the report's substantive observations and recommendations. His Royal Highness praised the role of foreign investments in supporting the efforts of the government to enhance the comprehensive development march in various sectors, urging to support investment institutions to encourage them. The Council reviewed the reports initiated in the previous session to identify the outcomes of His Royal Highness's directives of meeting the needs of residents. His Royal Highness instructed to list the urgent developmental needs in villages and cities visited by the services ministers and to implement them according to the current budget. His Royal Highness also directed to set a plan to replace cabin classes in schools with ones built according to a timetable through expanding construction buildings. The Cabinet discussed the recommendation of the Coordination Committee to establish a National Ambulance Centre under the Ministry of Interior to increase the efficiency of the ambulance service in the Kingdom. The Cabinet referred the recommendation to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. Based on the recommendation of the Coordination Committee, the Cabinet discussed uh, providing technical inspection services for vehicles through the private sector under the supervision of the General Directorate for Traffic at the Ministry of Interior. The Cabinet referred the recommendation to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. Based on the recommendation of the Coordinating Committee and the Memorandum of the, Ministry, or the Minister of Interior, the Cabinet discussed the issuance of special licenses or plates for classic vehicles and the regulations for the registration of imported used vehicles and using special and semi-special numbers on rental vehicles and private vehicles with rental contracts. The Cabinet referred the recommendation to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet approved three proposals presented by the Council of Representatives regarding the establishment of playgrounds in residential areas, replacing wooden cabins and licenses, and certificates issued by the Criminal Investigation Directorate. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated the International Techno Disability Conference and Exhibition on the occasion of the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. The event was held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and was attended by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, the Minister of Labor and, Special and Social Development, Jamil Mohammed Hamedan, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Mohammed Al Jodar, Deputy President of the High Committee for the Welfare of Disabled Persons and President of the Committee's Executive Office, Sheikh Al Aij bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities and President of the Conference Organizing Committee, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa, members of the Shura and Representatives Councils, and senior officials at the Ministry of Labor and Social Development. 
The event is organized by the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in cooperation with Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities and will continue until the 5th of December. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure for hosting the event to find solutions and innovative modern methods to serve people with disabilities. He added that the event is part of a number of initiatives aimed at enabling people with disabilities to benefit from modern and advanced technology, which will encourage them to participate in the developmental march of the kingdom. His Highness stated that support to people with disabilities is in line with the vision of the leadership. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of the High Committee and to the members of the Organizing Committee for preparing the conference. He expressed appreciation to the experts, academics and researchers who took part in the event. His Highness affirmed the outcome, that outcomes of the conference and exhibition will help implement the plans, programs and projects that will develop the abilities of people with disabilities. Sheikh Khalid launched Humanity Gate, which is the first Arab website specialized in humanitarian work. During the ceremony, His Highness honored Sheikh Dajj bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, who is one of the pioneers of humanitarian work in the kingdom. After that, His Highness inaugurated and toured the event exhibition, where he witnessed the latest technologies to support people with disabilities. Sheikh Khalid was honored by the Supreme Organizing Committee in appreciation for his support to the conference and exhibition.
On behalf of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Assistant Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabur Al Dosiri participated in the preparatory ministerial meeting for the 38th session of the GCC summit in Kuwait. The meeting discussed the proposals that will be submitted to their highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries, and the concluding statement of the 38th summit that will be held in Kuwait on the 5th and 6th of December. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, delegated the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, to attend the reception ceremony held by the Japanese ambassador to the kingdom, Kiyochi Asako, on the occasion of the 88th birthday of His Majesty the Emperor of Japan. A number of senior officials, deans of the diplomatic corps, and invited guests were also present. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa conveyed the good wishes of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, to the Emperor of Japan. His Royal Highness wished him abundant health and for his country continuous progress and prosperity. The Southern Governor affirmed the bilateral friendly relations and the cooperation in various fields. The Japanese Ambassador to the Kingdom expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's role in enhancing bilateral relations. He commended the Bahraini Japanese cooperation and keenness of both countries to further strengthen these relations. A joint national counter-terrorism drill, the Kingdom's Guards 1, will be held tomorrow at Sif Mall, Manama, after closing time. The exercise, which comprises forces from Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, the Interior Ministry and the National Guard, is a field embodiment of strong ties and comprehensive military and security performance to safeguard national security and public safety. The drill, in which the public prosecution is also taking part as a legal legislator, is a 10-hour mock exercise to handle a terrorist attack on a commercial mall at Seep District that will last from December 5th in the evening to December 6th in the morning. National Guard Colonel General Khaled Ramethi affirmed the importance of joint drills that bring different national security agencies in order to preserve public order and safety. This is a drill is a huge step forward. Uh, it's necessary for the, all the international securities to uh, should be cooperate together uh, to reach one command uh, operation to all of the uh, of the national securities because they are have each organization here. Maybe they have their different style of training. So uh, this drill. Okay, uh, we hope that all of the organization will be work as a one team. Meanwhile, the Assistant Public Security Chief for Operations and Training Affairs, Brigadier General Hamad Mohammed Al Khalifa, confirmed the necessity of collaborative work in order to be able to deal with terrorism and radicalism through the training of different national security agencies. As you know, we are living in a time that crime is changing very rapidly. It's, it's, it's very fast and for us we have to uh, be one step forward of criminals. Uh, the organized crime, cross-border crime, it's getting uh, spread all over the world. Every nation is uh, having problems with uh, terrorism and radicalism. So uh, for us in Bahrain, 
we have worked together with different security agencies to improve ourselves and to face all the challenges which is coming from all across the world, especially when we know that crime is supported by countries nowadays. So uh, we have the best people to uh, fight terrorism, uh, equipment, equipped with the best uh, equipment and having the best training. So I think we are uh, doing well. We are uh, racing with, with the crime and we are one step forward. Uh, we have a very stable country in our GCC uh, region and uh, it is developing and uh, people are happy and all that because of the well uh, planned uh, training programs uh, equipment for all our security forces yes. we have faced a lot of uh, uh, challenges in the, in the in the in the past uh, the recent one was in 2011 the unrest in bahrain and uh, bahrain have came out uh, from this uh, problems in uh, February 2011 uh, stronger than ever before and that is all because of the wise leadership uh, of our kingdom and the well prepared security forces to face such uh, unrest and such problems so if our security forces were not prepared they were not working together, we would have had more problems and more uh, difficulties on uh, cooperation and coordination. Yes. But we have proved to the world that we are capable of uh, handling such uh, troubles, such problems, such terrorism acts, uh, which, which was backed with lots of countries. Yes and we came out from it uh, much stronger than we were before. Um, since then, we have been working together, training together, uh, knowing how to face any problems in the future, and we are ready to deal with any kind of problem to uh, maintain peace and security in our kingdom and in the region as well. Under the patronage of Sheikh Naila bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Plus 973 Artists and at a Gallery held, held their fifth annual festival today. More in this report with Shoga Mohammed. Plus 973 Artisanat Gallery is a unique touristic artisanal destination offering a wide variety of products by independent designers. The gallery held its fifth annual festival today and invited designers from all over the Gulf to showcase their creations and have a fashion show. I'm working for in designing and uh, designing the dresses and jalabi abaya now for around 27 years. I have my own tailoring shop. It's in East Rafa. It's named Ahla Losayef. I like the design. I am actually a civil engineer, but I, I didn't work as a civil engineer, never. I work only in designing. I like the, to design the jalabiya mostly. Now the time also we started with the abaya for around three, four years ago. But mostly also we are designing the party dresses, the wedding gowns. This is my own and I like to see the something beautiful. I like it as I imagine it. I want to see it on the people wearing these items. Uh, we've been designing since 2013 and it's been an amazing journey. My mother, is the she designed the clothes, the abayas and the bishts and the dara'a. Uh, the expo is very amazing and the people who joined the expo, is, they're very amazing people. And since then, it's been a wonderful journey. The gallery's aim is to encourage entrepreneurs and empower them by developing their creativity and innovations through offering a positive venue to increase their visibility and allow public access to purchase and interact with the designers and art community, as well as supporting them to create and grow a business. Uh, we had a meeting two months ago, me and Sheikh Salman Al-Atabi, 
uh, in Bayan School as she is the chairman, chairperson of the Bayan School. And I am as a parent and an owner of Mashrabiya Consultancy. And I'm an architect and interior designer. We were thinking of to putting up an, an event for, uh, because they have annual event every year. So we were discussing, we had the team to discuss the thing. So I told her why we don't do it, uh, the, the, your annual festival for 2017 and the top niche. And we started, I started to put for her the concept design that we have a fashion show in and out. And uh, as we know, 973 has been established since two, 2012. And Sheikh Hamaib Salman Atebi, she worked so, so hard to take their entrepreneur and they develop them. And there is like 117 people graduate from this uh, place. And uh, we are trying to promote them and put their, uh, to put them in the map of Bahrain and future to put them in the map of the world uh, and internationally. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce and Labor Fund Temkin have come together to support and encourage entrepreneurs and associated institutions in realizing their full creative potential through participation in the PLUS 973 program. Top Notch 2017 will continue until the 5th of December here at the PLUS 973 Artisanat Center. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. Good evening and welcome to the Bahrain International Business News. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with local stocks. The Bahrain All Shares Index has closed at 1,274.13 points, marking a decrease of 6.08 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 50% of total shares. 76 transactions included 1,275,000. 220 shares worth 4,837,897 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain CBB has confirmed the continued commitment to the fixed exchange rate of the dinar against the U.S. dollar, pointing out that the fixed exchange rate is a cornerstone of the monetary policy in order to maintain a stable currency to the support of the economy and provide an appropriate economic environment. The CBB said in a statement to the SMP credit agency that the maintenance of the stable monetary policy has helped to improve the economic conditions over the past decades, pointing out that the International Monetary Fund Bahrain, that the adoption of the exchange rate regime linked to the U.S. dollar is appropriate for the kingdom. The bank has also shown positive performance for the Bahraini economy, which rose by 3.4% in the first half of this year compared to 3.2% last year. And now to Gulf Air as they sign an agreement with Thales to supply the new Gulf Air fleet of 12 Airbus A320neo and 17 Airbus A321neo with a package. The package includes an aviation event management electronic software, including a top flight and aviation management systems. Gulf Air Chief Executive Officer Captain Walid Al Alawi said that the selection of the best electronic systems in aviation management ensures that the national carrier is fully operational and therefore the best travel experience for customers. Tough Flight is one of the most successful aviation management systems in the world, accounting for 70% of the market share for Airbus A320neo and A330neo.